Hi everyone, this is Korea Soft Tennis National Team Women's Coach Yu Young Dong. Men's Coach Seo Gyu Jae. And trainer Kim ji Yeon, the director of education video for intermediate level. This video is made and supported by Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism of Republic of Korea. Korea Sports Promotion Foundation and Korea Sport and Olympic Community for the Soft Tennis Intermediate Level in the World. This video has a total of two big themes. First, strategies of single and double games. Second, the techniques and strategies of movements. Stroke, volley, smashing. Through this video, I hope you will show your best skill by learning soft tennis skill. First skill is stroke. Please pay attention to the skill because your partner's active area will be expanded through good strokes during the game and you can use various attacks. Then I will tell you about a useful stroke strategy that can be used by the back player during the game. To increase the power of the ball in the forehand stroke, hold the stance wide. Move the weight from right foot to left foot and hit the ball with the force of turning the waist while using a snap when the racket side hits the ball. Forehand stroke. How should we practice? As a forehand stroke practice method, prepare a desk and chair that can stand in a high position as a preparation. First, put a desk and chair on the end line and practice swinging and hitting the ball quickly before it drops on the desk and the ball in the high position where it is now, which helps improve the stroke power. First, if the ball comes short, you attack net player. Here's a tip. If the ball comes short, you can attack net player. But if the ball comes short, it's effective to attack the body side because the player in front of you goes inside. Second, if the ball comes long, it can also be a strategy to cause an opponent's mistake through persistent release using longs, or drive shorts rather than aggressively running the game. Third, if the ball comes into the body, the net player can do poach volley, so you can lift the rope toward the opponent's back player, or slow down the tempo to check net player until the end before attacking with an empty course. First, during the game, most of the back players identify the position of the net player and hit the ball or run the game through a brain fly with the net player. So they rarely hit the stroke just by looking at the position of the opponent's back player. So it is common to trick the form into lifting a rope, stroke, and hitting it at the same time. Second, if the opponent's back player handles the short ball and enters the net player position, the drive shot can be placed below the back player's foot. Or hitting the back player's body or cheating his form to lift the rope can be a strategy. Many people think backhand stroke is more difficult than the forehand stroke because the range of hitting the ball is narrower and easier to hit than the forehand stroke. Because the arm and shoulder used for backhand stroke is in front of the body, if the preparation is delayed, it will be impactful after the ball enters the body, and the ball will fly far to the left because it cannot use the weight rotation. To solve this problem, it is important to learn how to impact the ball with shoulder rotation. To this end, you need to speed up the backswing and set your left foot, which is the center foot, 
early so that you can see your back in the direction of hitting the ball with your right shoulder firmly. Make an impact using rotation of the waist and shoulders, and take care to make a long follow through afterwards. The backhand stroke practice is to use your power to stretch a one-bound ball thrown by hand. This practice is a weak ball, but it's a good practice to improve swing speed and improve ball control. In the case of lobs, Lobs a ball that is lifted high and returned over the net player's head. Ropes are divided into aggressive lobs that break down. The opponent's formation and defensive lobs that renew their formation. Aggressive lobs are fast forwarded to the back of the potential if the potential is close to the net or if you catch a high RBI and become an aggressive position. To give you a tip here, the point of offensive lob is to hit the ball quickly with the fast swing from a fast RBI rather than raising it high. If defensive lobs are required, hold them high towards the back or center when the partner or himself is disturbed during the game. The tip here is to swing high up because it's important to raise the defensive lob high. Bowling is an effective potential tactic based on the height of the ball during the game, and there are three main techniques, low bully, medium bully, and high bully, depending on the height of the ball. Bully is a technology that requires quick response and prediction of the opponent's betting course. If you improve your skills, you will be able to defend strongly against the opponent's attack, and you can mentally overpower the opponents with your own attack, so please listen carefully. Low volley is a volley that is hit at a lower position than the waist and is used as a defensive from rather than an attack. Low volley is mostly a defensive volley, but if the ball comes weak first, it can continue the rally with an active attack. If the opponent hits the ball aggressively, you have to widen the area of the racket and lower your poster to volley. Now I'm going to demonstrate the low volley movement. Predict the opponent's betting in a comfortable position away from the net. And if the center foot is 4, use right foot and the center foot is back. Use right or left foot appropriately depending on the opponent's bedding. Gently bend the right knee or the left knee close to the side to make a small take back and make an impact with a soft touch. After that, follow the bottom of the racket as if pushing it towards the white band above the net. Next is the middle volley. Middle volley is a volley that is hit at a position higher than the waist and lower than the head. In the case of middle volley, it is a volley that can take a little defensive form when the opponent's ball comes aggressively. Also can be hit strongly when the ball comes weak. When an opponent attacks with a strong ball, the key is to defend the opponent's court as well as low volley. I'll show you the middle volley movement through a demonstration. First, at the moment of impact, follow through as if you're pushing without using your wrist. Third, place a weak ball in front of the net and follow through as if pushing it away. Fourth, don't push the strong ball away at the moment of impact. Hold it and cut it. Lastly, high ball. High ball is a ball that is higher than the head and hits from the position away from the body. High ball is lower than smashing, but it is an effective technique that can make points aggressively. In the case of high balling, it might be an easy ball, but it is most important to make a habit of watching the ball until the end because if you hit the ball without looking at it until the end, you make a lot of mistakes. Then I'll show you through a demonstration of the high balling movement. If it is determined to be high balling, set the center foot from the high heel and pull the racket to a high position. Using the elasticity of the knee, stretch your body at the moment of impact, and the higher the RBI, the more you catch the ball in front of you, and maintain the racket surface. Don't swing the racket like a smash, but keep the racket side until it has an impact. 
Don't pull the racket from the bottom, but put it on your shoulder from the beginning and pull it straight up from above your body. Then this time I'll show you an effective smashing technique. In the case of smashing, you can score the most effective attack on the low with a technique that catches the ball from a high point with a gentle prabula and it hits it hard with the opponent's court. For an aviator, a single smashing mistake may change the flow of the game. Semi-Western grip is preferable for preparation. In the second position, the waiting position and the waiting position are almost the same as belly. The feet are about shoulder width and the knees are bent and waiting. Hold the racket lightly with your left hand and squeeze it in front of your chest. The upper body retracts by slightly slanting the head and changing it into semi-western grip, with the left shoulder slightly lower than the right shoulder. Retreat to the hitting point, set the center foot, put your weight on your right foot, and wait with your upper body tilted back. At this time, lift the racket above the right shoulder and bend right elbow. Lift the racket over your head. Simultaneously move your weight to your left foot and tilt your upper body forward with the forward swing. In the case of impact, when hitting the ball, take it in the front of the body. Stretch the impact instantaneous body. Stretch the right elbow upward and twist the shoulder and weights from right to left. The idle body condition during the impact should be a straight line between the right hand swinging the racket and the left foot. If you don't tilt your head a little to the left, you won't get a straight line, so be careful. Position, retract with the right shoulder facing the net and both shoulders perpendicular to the net. Go into the ball's course quickly. Set the center foot with your left foot. And on the back swing, rotate your shoulder so that it faces your back against the ball. Swing the racket around the elbow. When hitting the ball, make sure to move forward as much as possible and catch the ball just before the elbow is fully stretched. After making an impact, swing the big using the rotation of the upper body. Backhand smashing is harder to control than forehand smashing, making it difficult to hit a strong ball. Therefore, it is desirable to prioritize control over speed. The most important part of the jump smashing is the step. In the case of the step, Retreat the cross step and jump with the center foot. At this time, the upper body is standing up and swinging the racket with a hitch kick technique in the air. If you bend your upper body forward, the balance will be broken, so be careful. In jump smashing, the grip and basic posture are the same as forehand smashing. And unlike forehand smashing, the impact takes a posture that feels like throwing a racket forward by stretching your elbow. service. In the case of service during the game, the service strategy and action according to the preparation action of the opponent receiver must be used. You can earn points with effective service, so please watch carefully. The first service basically puts a lot toward the other person's body so that they don't get attacked by the other person, because it is a good course to use a strategy with my partner. There are also cases where your leading points are putting services on the side to distract the opponent. This is because when the opponent is preparing for the expected attack direction, he can score by using a counter-attack service. To give you a tip, you need to understand the other person's movements before putting in the service to use effective services. Depending on the coat, the strategy of putting in the service is different. But in the case of clay court, you put in a lot of flat services. 
but in the case of chemical court, we put in a lot of cutting surf. Because there are many changes in the ball and the bound is low due to the nature of the ball, the cutting surf is generally preferred. As there are many changes in the ball and the strategy of cutting surf, the receiver is most likely to score through a fast dash towards the net while putting in a cutting surf because it is a form of defense rather than attack. Hold on, let's learn about flat service and cutting service. As a preparation first, grip should held in the center western or semi-western position. Second, hold the position in a parallel stance or slightly closed stance with respect to the direction of the ball. Third, toss the ball to the higher position slightly in front of the left shoulder. Fourth, the right hand that backswing and the left hand that raises the toss move at the same time to balance. Bend your knees greatly and put your shoulders to make waist rotation. Lift the racket high and stretch your knees and waist. Finally, on impact, stretching your elbows and not grabbing the grip too strongly increases the speed of the racket lead. Also, by consciously hitting the left hand, the shoulder rotation is softened and the right shoulder moves forward, which also increases the racket speed. As a preparation, first, grip the racket shorter than usual with an eastern grip for more secure undercut service. Second, take an opponent's stance and bend your knees sufficiently. Third, toss an impact. Backswing from a low position until the wrist is at the height of the shoulder, and toss the ball slightly above the knee. The racket swings vertically, as if hitting it from the top of the bottom. Make sure your knees are not fully stretched. Your weight moves from your right foot to your left foot, and your racket swings to your left shoulder. At this time, don't put too much pressure on the grip and pay attention to using the racket service thinly. Lastly, receive. Partnership is more important than thinking alone, unless the back player makes a point at once. It is effective to use the promise play with your partner when the second serve comes in. If you're currently leading the game when the second serve comes in from the other side, you must be able to use a ball that you can decide with an attack net player with short. There are many types of ball that when you receive, and among them, I will show you the demonstration when the opponent's net player stands and when the net player comes in a while serving. First, how to receive if opponent's net player is standing. First, hit the ball deeply into the center and receive it with an opponent's net player right shoulder. While keeping your left shoulder in check with the opponent's player, receive it targeting the right shoulder of the net player. If you hit your upper body to open, you can figure out what kind of attack the opponent will come in. So please receive it with your left shoulder close and much as possible. Second, slice and drive short. Usually, the service comes to the center or side from the back position. I'll tell you useful slice and drive shorts. If the service is directed towards the center, slice shots should be used rather than drive shots. If the service is on the side, it is effective to use a drive shot. The important point at this time is that, as I said in the ball that hits deep into the corner, if you hit it too close to the sideline, you're most likely to fail in the attack, so be careful. Third, a ball that attacks to a net player. Don't try to attack by avoiding the opponent's net player, but look at the course in the ball I'm trying to hit. At this time, you have to receive with a high ball rather than receive with a low ball to increase your chance of attack. 
fourth, the rope ball of the net player over. When lifting a received lob, it is advantageous to attack with a posture of attacking the potential. Let me tell you two typical ways to use this. If you allow a ball to be quickly passed over the opponent's player head, the opponent's back player has no choice but to send the ball defensively high. So if you take advantage of this opportunity, you can even connect to smashing. In the next attack, if you give the other team a receive for poach bully, it is more likely to attack with the poach bully in the next attack, only when the opponent uses a certain rob rather than send a ball quickly. Next, I'll tell you the reception of the net player. For net player, receiving is very important because it can be connected to the point. And I'll tell you how to score effectively. At this time, receive it to the net player left shoulder. While keeping your left shoulder in check with the other person, receive it targeting the left shoulder of the net player. If you hit your upper body to open, you can figure out what kind of attack the opponent will come in. So please receive it with your left shoulder closed as much as possible. As I said earlier in the receiving method of the net player, don't try to attack by avoiding the opponent's back player. But you have to look at the course and the ball I'm trying to hit. At this time, you have to receive with a high ball rather than receive with a low ball to increase your chances of attack. To give you another tip, you want to score more clearly, then using slice shot can be the way. Here's how to receive when a net player comes in a serving during a game. The most commonly used receive action is receive aim at the front or the side of the opponent. When you receive, make it difficult for the opponent to hit by sending the ball to the opponent's side with the shoulders covered as much as possible when giving a receive. In addition, this method can be chosen according to the point, but if you're losing. If you're winning a receiver aim at the front of the opponent that can attack more carefully, you can boldly use a receiver aim at the side of the opponent. It is the most important part when hitting a short receive short toward the back player. At this time, you need to strike a clear attack posture to proceed effectively. If the net player receives wrong, the opponent's net player get a chance to attack with a forehand. That's why the best way is to target the opponent's net player under the left foot. To give you a tip, if you have to match your words with your partner in advance so that the back player can score the ball that comes up to the defense without missing the opportunity. First, I'll tell you the basic strategies of attack and defense in singles matches. In the singles, there are various strategies for offense and defense. In this session, I'm going to tell you about the most basic fasting strategies. During the rally with the opponent, if the ball comes to the forehand after attacking the opponent's backhand about 2 or 3 times, there are two strategies to catch the opponent off guard using a sideline or the shot. If you continue to rally to the backhand side with your opponent, you may get a ball in your favor, and there is a strategy to neutralize the opponent by taking advantage of the opportunity to attack the opponent's forehand side. If the opponent's course is ambiguous when attacking, long hitting toward the center can give him time to prepare for next move and can be stable defense method and attack because the opponent has limited course to attack. I'll tell you the basic strategy for the doubles. 
As we learned earlier, it is no exaggeration to say that service and reception control the short circuit of victory or defeat when playing doubles. So I'll tell you the most basic strategies used when performing service and receiving during doubles. In the service of putting at the back position, the first phrase is the strategy of putting the service under the left foot of the opponent's back player and my partner doing poached ball. As we learned in the service movement earlier, it is the most commonly used strategy in doubles because the direction of the opponent's attack is limited if the service is placed under the left foot of the opponent's back player. In the case of services that are put in the net player position, there is a strategy to target the empty space in the left side of the opponent's net player because the net player who receives the service first and then receives it in front of me. When our team's back player sends the ball to the opponent's back player after the opponent's back player puts in the service, our team's net player plays poached ball. The strategy is to make our team's net player smashes the ball served by the opponent's back player behind the opponent's net player, so that the net player can send the ball back to the lob. This strategy is a strategy in which our team's net player sends a rope behind the opponent's net player and poach volley with the moves learned from the receiving technology. So far, we've learned the basic game method of soft tennis for intermediate players and the detailed movements used in the game. Through the video, I hope you can perform well by applying effective game management and skill in practice. I'm Kim Ji-yeon, the national soft tennis trainer. Thank you.